Hi, we're here at the Ignition Lab at Intel's EMEA headquarters in Swindon with Chris. Uh, Chris, can you tell me a bit more about this project you've got here? Yes, yeah. So um, the, the principle of the project is uh, um, if you have a house with a burglar alarm and a fire alarm, mm -hmm. um, much like my house, they're probably not connected to the internet. Um, rather than replace the perfectly good systems that already exist, um, my idea is to create a device that will listen for the loud noises that mm. a burglar alarm or fire alarm produces and uh, in the event of one of those alarms going off, we'll um, set upload a, a signal to the cloud, and then from the cloud you'll receive an email on your phone to let you know your fire alarm or burglar okay. alarm may be sounding. So we'll basically, in a nutshell, takes takes your um, dumb alarms and makes them smart alarms, and it and it integrates with you know, Internet of Things, uh, and uh, yeah, makes it more makes it more intelligent, makes the system more in intelligent. So we've got a demonstration here, haven't we? Yes, yes. So, so if we just... Um, at the moment, it's, uh, it's the, just the screen says it's monitoring. It's listening for the sound. Um, the way it works, it takes a sample every uh, two uh, milliseconds, mm -hmm. um, has listened to that, and compares it to a background noise threshold that you set okay, so um, when you first set up yeah, the Yeah, it just device. understands what the ambient noise is. Okay. Yeah. So actually, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's picked up a bit. As I picked as up I my <laughs> booming voice here. <laughs> Uh, it has, yes, yes. But so, so, so let's pretend that's a, a, a fire alarm or a smoke yeah, alarm. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, it sets it off here. It goes red. It goes. It's gone from uh, a blue, like blue color, to a red. So, okay, it's gone red. What's the next process? Um, so the uh, the Intel Edison um, now uploads the change in state of. Uh, of that to the to the cloud, mm -hmm. so it sends a variable up there and uh, and says, oh, there's an alarm going off, or there's an abnormally loud noise um, from the cloud. Uh, there's some analytics, uh, part of uh, Intel's uh, enable IoT package um, mm -hmm. that looks to see if that alert level is raised. Then it sends an email down to to the user. So you specify your email address, and you receive an email to say, well, hang on a second, an alarm's going off. Okay, okay. So then, then it's up to the uh, the user to say. This is okay. This is not okay. Call the police. Don't call the police. That exactly, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. It's more just an alert mm. to, to let you know that something's going on. Okay. Okay. Was there anything else that it, it, it will be doing uh, as well as? Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, two additional sensors in there. One of them is a temperature sensor, uh -huh. and one is a light sensor. And uh, and the idea behind that is that if there's a change in temperature or a change in light at the same time as a, a loud noise. It sends another email to you to say, "Hang on a second, something's really wrong here. Either <laughs> the temperature in your house is rising very quickly, and there's an alarm going off, yeah. or um, the light in your house is changing quite drastically. Someone's mm -hmm. opening and closing doors, mm -hmm. turning on and off lights, as well as the burglar alarm." Going I off. suppose you also you could have smoke sensors as well, couldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then, or, or uh, carbon monoxide, or what have you, yeah. and then and then the intelligence will kind of then work out that from that it, if there's a genuine mm -hmm. emergency. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's the future plan? What's the next sort of steps for you with this? Um, so what I'd like to do is really make really good use of everything the Edison's capable of, which I'm not at the moment. This is more of a, a demonstration model, mm -hmm. uh, and what it can do is look for loud noises. What I'd like it to do is um, analyze that noise. So you'd input the sound of the burglar alarm, and you'd input the sound of the fire alarm, and it would um, look at the frequencies that make up those noises, and if uh, frequencies similar to those noises are seen, then it sends an email. So at the moment any loud noise will trigger it, it can't distinguish between fire or burglar mm. alarms. And the next step uh, is, is to develop the code to do that piece of work. Okay, to get put even more intelligence into the system. Exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, the biggest hurdle at the moment is that any loud noise like a dog barking would set it off, which mm. isn't ideal. Or my booming voice. Exactly, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> if you talk too loudly into the microphone, that's the problem. So that's sort of the, the next step with okay. the programming. Okay. Right, well, thank you very much, Chris. Okay, thank you. Thank you.